It only took five seconds, Matt, to change the batteries. <laughs> five seconds? Does any audio guys want a job? Oh, whoa. Oh. Hey, hey, wait, wait. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> yeah. we, I just need an audio guy to change batteries. You know what we need? Official battery changer. Yeah. How much, how much does that guy make an hour? What am I paying you? What are you at? 80 bucks an hour? 90 bucks for a battery changer? Official battery changer? Yo, what's up, guys? So a situation came up the other day where the guy wanted um, to me to hook him up a little bit. So I gave him a little bit of a hookup and I'll tell you what he asked me for. He wanted to rent a regular trash dumpster and he also wanted to rent a dumpster for scrap metal. So I told him, no problem, we could take care of it. He goes, well, the only glitch is I like to get the scrap metal for free. And I'll be honest with you, I generally don't do that. Generally, you don't make enough money on scrap metal that's in your dumpster to cover the haul and make it worth your while. By the time you haul the dumpster out, take it to the scrapyard. Now you got to remember the scrapyard is going to take you a lot longer to go through than it will be through the dump. At the scrap metal, they have to get your heavy weight, get your light weight, and then issue you the funds. It's just a complete pain in the butt. If you're not making enough to go to the scrapyard, definitely stay away from the scrapyard. You know, one thing we never do is listen to the radio when we're in the truck. Why is that? You're such a busy guy, dude. I don't know why I don't you have know. time to even listen to music. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. We never listen to the radio. You guys don't get to sit here every day like I do. You know? <laughs> the phone 30 times a day. Yeah. <laughs> 30? Yeah. Maybe, maybe 300. 40, 50 maybe. <laughs> you probably had 110 one day. Last week probably, right, Rob? Oh, man, I'll tell you what. That phone sometimes doesn't want to stop, man. I'll tell you. I don't I don't know how many times that phone has to ring. Yeah, I've, I've worked here for three with him for three months now, and I've never seen the phone answered more than a year. This guy, this guy works his ass off. I'll tell you what, man. You know why? Blue Tiger Elite in the house. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you know something? Yeah, what? They actually, um, we did the review on the Blue Tiger yeah, Elite. That. Yeah, Did you see the comment? Yeah. So we might actually do another review on these. They actually, they actually uh, reached out to us. Yeah, we might be doing another review on the Blue Tiger. They were uh, complimentary on our um, review. So check out our Blue Tiger Elite headset review. My headset just went dead, my Blue Tiger Elite. I haven't charged it in four days. So, dude, the thing lasts forever. As much as I'm on the phone, it lasts forever. He didn't know I was talking to him. He was avoiding me. You know me? Yeah. I cracked my neck real quick, man. I felt crack good. your neck. Yeah. It, I just charged it for like five minutes. It'll last another four days. Blue Tiger Elite rocks, dude. So he says, hey, let me get a dumpster and let me get a, I'll rent one big dumpster and one small dumpster for you. So we came up to an agreement and he rented two dumpsters from me, one large one and one small one. We brought him out the big dumpster and the small dumpster was filled out pretty pretty fast. He, he, he filled up the scrap dumpster pretty fast and he was kind of excited. He was telling me, you know, it's heavy and you know, we should do pretty good. And I'll be honest with you. I checked out the dumpster. There was some heavy stuff in there. Well, when I got to the scrap yard, it was 170 bucks and I'll put a I'll put a screenshot of actually how much I got from the scrap yard it was like hundred and sixty nine dollars and fifty cents so the machine they have like an ATM there it like spits out hundred and seventy dollars when somebody is trying to get a dumpster from me for scrap metal unless you have some sort of fail safe in place to where you'll make out or not make out but not lose money on the dumpster, you gotta make sure that you get paid for your services. In my case, the only reason it, it wasn't a loser was because the guy was really close. He was right around the corner. He's a local business owner. He's an older guy too. He's like 85 years old. He's telling me he's selling his business. I just felt like obligated. You know, the guy put his time in. He's 85. He kind of lived his, his life and he has a pretty cool building. I wish I could afford to buy it. I just felt obligated to, you know, bend the rules a little bit. So we brought him the big dumpster. We brought him the small dumpster. And I told him, you know, I live up to my agreement. So I actually did it again. In retrospect, I never do that. Like I don't give a dumpster for the value of what's in the dumpster. Even when I go to the dump and let's say I bring a whole load of cardboard and I'll dump it at the dump, they may not charge me to dump it, but they won't give me money. So they'll just say no charge, no value. And that's what you'll see on some of your receipts. If you go into your dump, I mean, you may be able to negotiate. Like, let's say you, you go into a, into your dump or your recycling center 
and they say, hey, you know, this whole trash can or this whole dumpster is basically metal. Can I just dump it here and, you know, just don't charge me for it? To be, sometimes they may do that. They might actually hook you up and say, hey, just dump it. You don't have to do that. You don't have to pay. Just dump it, but we won't pay you because they know they're going to get value and they're the ones that are actually handling the material. So you'll you'll actually make out or not make out, but not have to, you know, pay to get dumped that day. And that could be for, you know, any other materials that you have as well, too, whether it be cardboard, metal, and sometimes even like vinyl siding or sheetrock. So Thank check you, it out, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. You know, we're going to definitely take you on, you know, on the, on the ride with us. And hopefully you're learning something and you can, you know, just these experiences that we're trying to share with you are helping you out. All right, guys. See ya. Don't they let you guys eat things for free? No. Why not? Don't like What's your favorite thing? Mm -hmm. He's a celebrity. I'm a celebrity. Uh, <laughs> That's all you need? Yeah. Why don't they let you eat? Will you get fired? It's like stealing. Yeah. 219. Hmm? 219 for you. Oh, let's call it 199. Let's walk away happy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Have a good one. You don't want some of these? No, I'm good, man. I'm good.